Hey there, this is Max with AppPre.io. In this video tutorial, I want to show you how to build an Ionic mobile app with the mobile backend that uses also an API, a third-party API. Now, the app that I'm going to build looks like this, right? So we got a list of people and a name and email, all right? So let's start and see how fast it is to build this app in AppPre.io. So the first thing, let's create a brand new Ionic app. And to do that, I'm going to click Create New App. And then I'm going to select the Ionic template and click Create. All right, and now let's open the index page. So this is the template, and let's change the header here. We'll change this to uh, People, and we can also change the color. All right, as for the footer, we can just set it to maybe app. All right, so this is the index page. Let's open the screen one page. And now here we're going to drag and drop a list component. So when you do that, it has three static items, right? But we only actually need one because we're going to be loading the data from, a, uh, from an external API. So we can just click delete. All right, so this is how uh, how this looks. So um, we're going to come back to uh, to UI uh, in just a second, but first let's get let's set up the mobile backend, uh, which we'll call the uh, API. Now the API that I am going to use is uh, from here. Uh, so this is called Random User, uh, which is very nice service because it just gives you random uh, user data that you can use. All right, and so this API. I got it right here. So this is the API that I'm going to use. So I'm getting uh, 10 results, and then you get a bunch of information back, but all I want is the name, email, and picture. But again, uh, you can get other stuff like password uh, and so on. So, but this, this is all we need. So let's copy this. And um, from here, I'm actually gonna go to uh, server code. All right, so server code is right uh, here and create a mobile backend. So I'm going to create a new script and I'm going to call this um, people service. And now we can delete the sample script. Right? Let's actually click save also. And now I'm going to use a snippet and insert a code to invoke an API. And what I have, I'm going to paste the URL and you can see right here that I got the result. So these are parameters. So we can keep them here in the URL. Uh, we can also move them here if you need a little bit more flexibility. So 10, and then this is include. And we'll just copy this. Right, and then we don't need the last one. Right, and so let's also delete this. All right. Now, once you do that, let's say we can click to run and we can just test the script. And here we go, we get the result that we need. So we get uh, the name, the email, and the picture. All right, so this works very well. Now this script is then also exposes the REST API and this is the API information. But let's go back to the app builder and let's go to create new and server code services so we can automatically generate the script and um, let's see what's in the people service, right? And we just automatically generated the API. So here we can actually change it to, uh, to a get, a get will do. And then um, and then we can go to test and then, right? So we're testing this service. Again, this is the client side, this is the app. And then just click import as response. So what happens is the response is automatically generated for us. So we got the API in the app. Now let's quickly create a model. All right, so we'll call this a person and then we're gonna add four properties. And name, or actually let's call it first, last, email, and avatar. Right. Now let's um, person list and it's going to be over array type 
and then um, it will contain a person object. All right. So this is our model. Again, this is the model in the app. Let's go back to the page. And then notice I'm in design view. I'm going to switch to scope. All right. And I'm going to add a variable personal, uh, person list. And again, I can select the type. This is the person list. All right. So there is already one function. Um, that's there by default, the init one. Uh, you can create other functions, but we can just open it. Right. And notice we're just going to take the service and just drag and drop it. And the app builder automatically generates a service invocation, right? And it even the, puts the name. So now we need to get data from the service and save it into the scope, right? And this is basically the scope variable. And I'm going to click mapping and open the visual mapping editor. And then the first thing I'm going to take the result, map it to the uh, to the list, and then first, and then this is the last name. We got the email, and we got the uh, avatar, All right? And now save and replace, and you can see that the code is generated. So this is very nice. Let's go back to design. Um, so now I have to bind the data in the scope to the page. So the first thing. Selecting the list and ng repeat, and then we do person in, and you can see you get code assist. So this is also very nice. Uh, let's do uh, now the title. So this could be uh, the email. So person email. Let's set the the name. So this will be person first and then person last. Now we can delete this, we don't need to type here. And now we need to set the picture. So we go here and the avatar, this is person and then we can see avatar. All right. Um, and that's all we need to do now. You can easily uh, launch the app in the browser by clicking the test button. So this is the old one. So let's kill this and let's click test. All right, and here we go. We got a list of people. We got the avatar, email, uh, and the uh, person's first first name, right? So this is very fast, very simple, right? Again, we uh, created a mobile app using Ionic. We created a mobile backend and also invoke a third party API. And now we're able to run the app in the browser. So definitely give this a try. And thank you for watching.